free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, data structures, and we are on the basic JavaScript course on challenge 76 of 113. So today we are going to select from many options with switch statements. Okay. So in cases you have many options to choose from, use a switch statement. A switch statement tests a value and can have many case statements which define various possible values. Statements are executed uh, from the first match case va value until a break is encountered. Here's an example. We have a switch statement. It's kind of like a function. It takes in an argument. So in this case, it's taking in a, a variable called lowercase letter. And if the case is A, meaning lowercase letter, the variable is A, it'll count log A. Then it'll break. If case B, meaning it's lowercase letter, is equal to B, it'll console log B and then break, meaning it'll break, it will exit this entire switch statement. So in this case, the lowercase letter was A, it'll console log it and it won't check it against B, it'll just break. So case values are tested with strict equality, triple equal sign, meaning they have to be the exact same uh, data type and value. The break tells JavaScript to stop executing statements. If a break is emitted, the next statement will be executed. So as I said, if it is A and you don't have a break here, it will keep checking against all the following ca uh, cases. So in this example, or in this challenge, all we're gonna do here is write a switch statement that tests val and sets the answer for the following conditions, okay? So, one will be alpha, two will be beta, three will be gamma, four will be delta. Okay, so let answer, that's what we're gonna change, this answer uh, variable. And we're gonna make a switch statement. So all we do to write a switch statement is kinda like a function. Uh, even though we are inside a function here, taking in a value called val, we are going to make a switch statement called switch. That's all you have to do is write switch, it has to be called that, and then the value you want to take into the switch statement, just like we're taking in this value to this function. We're going to take in a value here, and that is going to be the val that we're taking into the function because we have access to it because we are within that function. So switch, just like the same syntax, curly brackets to be uh, the code that is within the switch statement, what is actually executing in the switch statement. And we have, as you see here, we have different cases. So in the case that va uh, the val is one, I'm gonna do semicolon, colon, and we're going to uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. So that's, we're gonna change the answer, okay? So we're gonna change this answer variable to be alpha, beta, gamma, delta, based on each case. So if it's one, we want it to be alpha, so we're gonna say answer is equal to alpha, and then don't forget, we want to break because that would means we found a case that matches. We need to break, all right. And then we can just go down, we can do case two. Answer equals beta, we will break. And case three, answer. So in the case it equals three, val is three. Answer is going to be equal to gamma. We're gonna break. And case four, answer is going to be equal to delta. And then this is all within the switch statement. So it's going to check against each of these cases. Uh, if it finds a case that matches, it'll execute that code until it hits a break. And then it'll continue if there was no break there, but we have breaks. So it'll say, oh, matches two. And then change the answer to beta. And then break, meaning exit this entire code block. So it'll resume here. And then return the answer. So case in the switch, one. All this is going to do is say, okay, 
case and switch, take a value of one, answer is blank, switch with the value of one. It's gonna check the case, is it one? It is, so answer is alpha, and then it'll break and return the answer of one, or return the answer of alpha, rather. That's all we should have to do for that one. I hope that made sense. Switch statements are helpful when you have a lot of uh, checks you wanna make. They're easier than, and as you can see, less typing, less code than actually writing if else checks or all that. Um, so yeah, that's all we have to do for this challenge. Hope to see you guys in the next one.